what's your financial goal? You want more money? Turn what you know into dough. Start hanging out with the people who have it. You create wealth on your own terms. It is not only your rights, but your duty to build wealth. You are fiscally fabulous, and it's time to enjoy your legacy. You're listening to Fiscally Fabulous with Dr. Teresa R. Martin Esquire, a podcast that aims to provide you with the tools, guidance, and encouragement you need to build your wealth, enjoy your wealth, and leave a lasting legacy. Dr. Martin is an accomplished attorney, speaker, business consultant, and real estate strategist, an all-around self-made success who provides highly sought-after expert consulting in the creation, growth, and maintenance of generational wealth. Hello Fabulous, this is Dr. Teresa Martin of Generational Wealth Zone and welcome to Fiscally Fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Release the Inner Entrepreneur in You series. Today, I want to talk to you about how to reduce production and operation costs like an entrepreneur. Now, first things first, do what you can on your own, at least in the beginning. As an entrepreneur, you will definitely hire people to run your business. But if you can conveniently do some of the tasks, maybe you should shoulder those tasks yourself. This is going to help you and save you on salary costs. For example, if you think that paying for a manager is too costly for you at this time, you can simply take on the responsibility yourself. And sometime in the future, when your business becomes more profitable, maybe you can hire a manager to take the task off your plate. Until then, you should do what you can on your own. Next, you can outsource tasks instead of hiring new employees. Some tasks are seasonal, done only occasionally. Examples include website maintenance, graphic design for your web pages, article writing, and so on. For such tasks, it's best to just outsource those tasks. This way, you can avoid additional costs that come with hiring new employees which also comes with bonuses and salary and government contributions and taxes and things of that sort. Keeping production and operation costs low means you eliminate unnecessary and wasteful activities and purchases, which results in maximizing your cost reductions. Basically, that equates to more money in the bank so that you can expand your operation even further, or it helps you create a safety net for unforeseen expenses. Today's episode was short but vital to your bottom line. What will you do this week to reduce your operations cost? Join me on the next episode where I will share miscellaneous tips for the new entrepreneur. Until then, remember you are fiscally fabulous and you are worth it. This has been Fiscally Fabulous with Dr. Teresa R. Martin Esquire. If you would like to learn more on how you can build generational wealth and leave a lasting legacy, go to www.enjoyyourlegacy.com and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for listening. Until next time.